missão ela é, da, ela é realizada na Festa do Divino, que é uma das maiores festas do Divino do Brasil. É um cortejo que acontece no, no final da festa e há mais de 400 anos. Pelo quarto ano consecutivo, a gente tem feito essa parceria com a TV Diário é, para fazer essa transmissão ao vivo. E nesse ano, a gente está com uma parceria com a Videodata e com a IMT. Esse trabalho está sendo feito para dar mais mobilidade ao câmera e ele conseguir dar takes de uma maneira mais confortável. Então, sem cabo, uh, no sistema CFDM é, em digital, ele consegue ter mais mobilidade, ele consegue ter mais é, destreza com a câmera e pegar takes mais interessantes. O Microlink trouxe, trouxe aí uma agilidade fantástica para essa transmissão, né? Porque a gente sai do convencional das imagens com cabo, e os nossos repórteres, os cinegrafistas, têm mais agilidade e têm mais distância para que a imagem seja captada e redirecionada aqui para o nosso resultado de volta. Essa câmera fica móvel, ela fica com mais facilidade de andar dentro do desfile e também vai proporcionar alguns takes novos, algumas visões diferentes que até então não tinha tido nessas transmissões. Dá muita mobilidade, então o seu trabalho facilita, porque você fica sem cabo de fita, você não tem um limitador. Esse evento é o maior evento cultural de Mogi das Cruz do Alto Tietê. Esse microlink nos, nos possibilitou fazer uma transmissão muito melhor, muito mais ágil, trazer novas imagens, imagens diferentes, soltas e uma qualidade fantástica para o nosso telespectador. E a câmera foi show, espetacular. parceria e, e, e essa aplicação desse microlink digital, ela está sendo fundamental para poder deixar mais bonito disso. Queria agradecer muito a, a RTV Filmes e a Videodata. É uma parceria muito interessante, muito legal. A RTV Filmes convidou a Videodata e a MT para fazer parte desse projeto e a gente agradece aí ao pessoal da TV Diário e da RTV Filmes. Sports drones have been used in a pre-produced and pre-recorded fashion for years, capturing scenics for billboards and unique visuals for features and show opens. Now Fox Sports is pushing the envelope again as we attempt to be the first network to use drone cameras in a live broadcast. It's going to be able to get really close, probably one of the closest angles that we've ever had in Supercross, and uh, I think it's going to be something new and exciting for the fans to watch and experience. Drones can travel up to 40 miles per hour. Their battery life is maxed out at 20 minutes, and their batteries can be swapped out within seconds upon landing. A drone can travel three quarters of a mile from its receiver. Utilizing radio transmitters attached to the drone, television directors can intercut drone cameras live as they would for any others. The drone footage gives the viewer a unique front row seat like never seen before. Yeah, a lot of people at home, you know, they don't see how fast we're actually going. You know, it's, uh, like I said, different perspective, you know, with the drone actually flying with us. You know, you can see where the lines are, what the ruts are, you know. So, uh, you know, it's huge. You know, I think it's awesome for our sport. Honestly, while you're out there, you don't even focus on the drones, you know. Uh, we're out there focusing on our competition and, you know, what our, our points, you know, now it's in the air. With Supercross and Golf up first for Fox Sports to utilize their drone technology, the future possibilities in other sports will only be a matter of time. We are Fox Sports!
Broadcasters have been at the core of IMT's business since our earliest days. We were one of the early pioneers of using COFDM. That tradition continues today. Delivering products that are easy to use, that get the, the job done, moving video between point A and point B is critical. We're able to uh, provide complete solutions if you need a central receive system for your ENG, if you need to upgrade your point-to-point uh, -point link infrastructure to be able to support HD news gathering, we can help you. The uh, RF Central GL Link is the most versatile fixed link radio ever made. That radio is, is, is the premium fixed link radio um, for legacy infrastructures where you would only have ASI backhauls, but also allows you to transport video over IP. It has an ever-expanding variety of modules that can be used to build up any system that you need. All of the modules are backward compatible with the old modules, so the radio can really never go obsolete. One of the newest cards that we have is the SFP4 module. It can take on any of the roles of uh, three or four of the uh, older cards, and it's all in one module. Another great feature of the GL Link is it's the only broadcast microwave system out there on the market with redundant power supplies. The uh, redundant power supplies are hot swappable. So the GL focuses on the hybrid approach, taking care of your legacy infrastructure, as well as opening up the opportunities for IP interconnect on the newer radios. The CR7 is one of the most bulletproof central receivers ever made. High dynamic range central receive. It is a single input receiver. Um, many customers still need single input for their long range shots. It has adaptive attenuators in the front end that help reduce overload from adjacent channels and uh, eliminate surprises in the middle of your newscast. It might be over 40 miles out, and really the CR7 is, is really the premium product for single input central receive. But for in-town roaming cameras or where you may not want to put the mast up all the way, you have diversity receive systems. EX6-2 is a very versatile six-way diversity receiver that uses a variety of different antenna configurations and BDCs for hands-off central receive. So the next generation central receive beyond this X6 is the DR3, which will be coming out further this year. And it really is the next progression in central receive. Um, maximum ratio combining, six antennas, um, feature packed, full spectrum analyzer on each antenna, but really ties well into this uh, GL series with the IP backhaul. Being able to fly a helicopter from through one central receive site through another central receive site, seamlessly producing video back at the TV station. May not be just a helicopter, an ENG truck, a wireless camera, can migrate seamlessly between central receive sites. Really a feature that hasn't been done um, with COFDM on a citywide infrastructure basis. Moving compressed video over IP uh, is really the direction that fixed links and central receive are heading. We are constantly looking to the future to develop new products that broadcasters all around the world want and use every day.